Welcome back. It's probably time to clean your room, don't you think? Today we're looking at lemony. <laughs> I wish we were looking at lemony spaces. That sounds great. Today we're looking at liminal spaces. And much like in a poorly written TV show, I'm going to explain it to you as if you already know, just in case any of the viewers don't know. Liminal space, of course, you know liminal space. That's the thing, you know, where it's like, you know, like the transition between the what was and the next. You know, like an empty grocery store that used to have stuff in it and now it's empty and it's gonna become something later. It feels weird to see an empty grocery store because you don't usually see that. Nothing on the shelves, usually there's stuff on the shelves. Maybe a, a, a school, like a like a hallway in a school that's usually full of kids and there's no one there and it looks kinda eerie and empty. Maybe the lights are off or maybe the lights are dim or maybe it's just a street in the middle of nowhere and you think there should be a car on it but there isn't because there's no one out there because it's the middle of nowhere or maybe it's a big green field that looks like one of the old windows wallpapers and you're thinking why is this place so empty this looks like a fake image why is there just a random you get the idea if you don't you'll figure it out pretty quick because we're going to look at this and we're going to discuss this you and i that's right this is a back and forth thing don't just sit there like usual and just listen to me talk i'm talking to you yeah it's pretty rude that you never respond to me you're not gonna do that again are you I said you're not going to do that again, are you? What's the point? This absolute masterpiece of a movie. This is from a movie called The Truman Show, and it's just a great liminal space picture. I would almost put this more as like a weird analog horror rather than an actual liminal space because of like the low res and like sort of like pixely clouds and like the weird door that's just like a hole in the wall. It, it still works for liminal space, but not the strongest one to start off on, but good movie. Okay, this one I saw already. This blew my mind a little bit. Surface of asteroid i don't know how to say that man ragu um but it doesn't matter this is so absurd this picture just goes so hard for no reason this looks like at first glance like it's just like some rocks like you could see this maybe in uh you know just here on our planet of earth it's sort of volcanic looking, you know, you'd have to be in a specific part of the world to see this exact sort of formation, but it's not completely unrelatable, right? We've seen stuff like this before. But then you realize, okay, this is the surface of an asteroid. This is in space. And then you're like, oh, wait, that's space right there. But I think what the person that posted this is probably seeing in a liminal way is that it looks like someone just took this with like a flash camera doesn't it like someone just standing on the asteroid like huh cool night sky and it's gorgeous because there's not a lot of light pollution other than this guy's flash phone which again is not what actually happened it wasn't someone on their phone hopefully you figured that out already but this is probably like some sort of rover it's so crazy so cool okay midwestern landscape this is pretty good this is pretty good liminal. It's eerie to see something that you're supposed to associate with lots of like people living their lives and then it's just empty. The like yellow grass just really brings it all together. It's like no one's been there in a while to water this, but it looks neat. Also the street being like the same sort of material as the sidewalk is just whose design was this? This looks so bland. This is the most bland neighborhood I've ever seen and I've seen some bland neighborhoods. I've lived in some very bland neighborhoods where like every house looked the same. Someone was like, how much gray should we use? And they were like, all of it. Let's make everything gray. Let's even make the sky gray. Amazing. The tint of the sky and the emptiness gave off a weird vibe. Dude, this gives me like a, this gives me a whole different feeling. It's like a weird, sad, happy feeling. What is it about this hue of pink that makes, I don't wanna say all of our brains, cause it could just be me, but this hue of pink gives me the weirdest emotion that I can't really describe. And maybe I'll try doing a video about it cause it's just, it's like a perfect, equilibrium of happy and sad which shouldn't be possible but it is like this is like is this a sad photo is this a happy photo i would say both and neither to me this is like when you get bubblegum ice cream only to find out that the ice cream itself is bubblegum flavor and there's no actual pieces of bubblegum in it and you're just like what's the point i wanted pieces of bubblegum but you still have bubblegum ice cream so you're not that mad that's this image <laughs> This color is crazy. Yo, dude, is this real? No way. Cool picture. I feel like the photoshoppy ones don't really 
do anything for me because it's kind of like that's not what we're here to see right you've been here before for whatever reason everyone building houses around this era they all had the same idea they were like we're gonna use like a grayish tan carpet and we're gonna put it on the floor in every room and the stairs and the bathroom and the toilet seat we're gonna put carpet up the walls the ceiling is gonna be covered in carpet and then they were like okay cool that's a lot of carpet let's let's take it down a notch we need another person in here for a second opinion and the other guy was like we're gonna put wood paneling on the walls we're gonna put wood paneling on the ceiling we're gonna put wood paneling on the door frame and on the doors and everything's gonna be wood paneling that's the reason why we have so many images like this where they're like really nostalgic and in like a eerie kind of way where you're like I kind of have been in a place like this but not this place and again this is probably your regional thing I, I don't imagine this image does something for everyone around the world even this like little panel light on the side here I feel like those are really popular for a little while there too this top and bottom washer dryer combo i used to think was absolutely genius and then i was like why do we still have two units why can't we have a unit that washes the clothes and then dries them right afterwards why do i gotta move my wet clothes like a barbarian and drop my socks on the floor so they get dirty again like two seconds after getting clean stupid i live in an old high school Huh? Okay. Off to interesting start. The building is so large that it takes up an entire city block. At night, it can feel very eerie. It feels like you can just walk and walk forever and still not see everything. The building is uh, still under construction, so it's easy to end up somewhere you shouldn't be. This guy posted 20 photos. Buckle up. I think this is legit, actually, because I remember seeing posts from this person before. They actually live in an old high school, although they're taking some, like, low-res photos to kind of accentuate the eerie vibe of all this but this is crazy okay i don't even know what i'm looking at right there but i can tell you something i do not like it some minecraft tier paintings on the wall lovely not an exit that's a really good picture right there the not an exit is is good too because it implies that this doesn't get you out this just makes you go further in crazy different kinds of bricks working together to creep me out well done there's the exit but do you really want to go out of it now that you see it do you really want to go out there sheesh dude this is like this is like, this is, okay, now you're just, now I'm being trolled. This is not a real thing. This is the art on the wall of a high school. That picture and this picture, a painting of a plane potentially going down, or at least the oxygen mask are down. What is this place? Okay. <laughs> I don't think you should live there, my friend. I don't know, maybe you weren't given the option. Maybe you're trapped there. And if you are, let me know so I can call someone else to come help you this staircase at my friend's apartment building whoa it like looks wrong obviously it's just a curving staircase but why is it like bent in ways that it shouldn't be like this arm rail wall should be straight up and down but it looks like it curves outwards right like the, like as if the stairs are all like this and then look at this ceiling here this should be flat but it curves downwards this is might just be a weird perspective, like angle here, but this is freaking, these are clown stairs. This is an apartment building. I'm not gonna complain about where I live ever again. These people out here are living in purgatory. Desert dreams painted with oils. Nice, cute, love it. Cat, meow. You've heard of skylights that let you see up to the sky, but have you heard of floor lights where you get to look down into space? because that's way cooler. These are pretty good. I feel like they're more back rooms, pool roomsy than liminal space, but obviously I'm not one to be a big stickler for the definition. There's a lot of people that are like, liminal space isn't what it used to be. People don't understand it and they just post whatever as long as it looks vaguely eerie or whatever, or empty. I get that, but I also feel like it doesn't matter that much. Um, but yeah, eh, liminal space, meh, you know, whatever. Who's keeping track? Surface of Comet 67p oh my gosh dude we're being spoiled today it's a very short clip here but we can like just just take in the stars moving in the background that's wild it's just kind of mesmerizing the stars moving in the background i want to go to a comet someday okay this dude you guys gotta be joking around here the title is my friend lives in a mall that was converted to apartments where are these people coming from we got a guy that lives in a school guy that lives in a circus and now a guy that lives in a mall what's next you know guy that lives in a mcdonald's this is pretty wild 
So it was a mall that was converted to apartments. It's the escalators that give off big mall vibes, but it looks like they just discontinued them and fenced them off instead of getting rid of them. I mean, why would you fence them off? They're still stairs, right? We don't want to waste power on these escalators. Darn it, they're useless. Like, well, now they're stairs, you know, like, just leave them there. I like an escalator, man, because an escalator can never break. It can only become stairs. They fenced off one set of stairs and built another one, I guess, but... Can you imagine stepping out of your apartment and just looking into this and you're like, ah, gee, I love living in this mall that's now an apartment. Time to go to my job at the apartment that's now a mall. These people are living in bizarro world, man. This is just an episode of Twilight Zone. The vast emptiness of a dying Kmart. Dying and Kmart? Seems a little redundant to say that the Kmart is dying. I mean, what else do they do? <laughs> I won't say they all look like this, but they're just <laughs> They're just the emptiest of marts. I took this photo of a closed toy store in a local mall which had a lone cardboard cutout of Bowser in the middle because of a Super Mario themed event that was supposed to take place. It looks like they just photoshopped that in there, but you can see the reflection. That's so funny, it looks like it's just photoshopped on there. The rest of it's pretty liminal, but that just kind of like, it, that's still distracting. <laughs> Smug Bowser, chilling in liminal space world. I don't know. Okay, this is sweet. They got the infamous double-sided sink room with mirrors on both sides for this infinite sink effect. Kind of gives you a sinking feeling, doesn't it? Let that sink in. <laughs> Clown hamburgers, serving Haltom City since 1959. They've also not cleaned, painted, or renovated their sign since then as well. Serving up a taste of the past since 1959. But was it a taste of the past back in 1959 or was it just a taste? A taste of the present? That's what I want. I want a place that the theme is the present. The theme is here and now, baby. Clown hamburgers. Pretty cool. Also, what what is this? It says two in quotation marks on the balloon. Clown burgers two? Also, why in quotes? Like clown hamburgers two, T-O-O two. What, what does that mean? I'm so confused at what I'm looking at here. Also, there's like a traffic cone right here. This is like one of those I spy books. This just gives me bad vibes all around. I don't think I would eat here. I don't care if they got the best burgers ever. If they're made by or of clowns, I don't want them. Abandoned city of castles, this is not real. You're joking, this is not real. Abandoned city of castles? It's got a 2.9 on Google reviews, so no wonder everyone skipped town. Dude, this is a real thing. This is so weird. How have I never seen this? No matter how many angles I see of this and how real this apparently is, it looks fake. I mean, it's real, but it's fake, you know what I mean? All right, well, yeah, that's that's real. Cheeky little town of castles. That's crazy, okay, well, I wanna live there now, I think. It's in Turkey. How could you have blundered this so bad? You're telling me you can't find people that wanna move into a castle in a neighborhood of castles? That's me. I'll do it. I'll move into every single one if you want me to. Airplane with no passengers or power. I don't know what it is about this image, but it makes me feel like this plane is also like submerged at the bottom of the ocean. You know, like this just looks like you shouldn't be here. You know, water's gonna start pouring in any second. Pretty eerie, regardless. A friend of mine recently moved here. Huh? What's with all your guys' friends in moving into bizarre places? Don't they, don't they like run it by you first? Like, hey, does this seem good? Should I move into this giant brick? You're like, I don't know. Maybe look around a little bit. I know times are tough, but I don't know, man. Backyard, that's lovely. What a beautiful blue sky. Bro, these are all so good. Particularly that one and that one. A familiar neighborhood, edited fake CG. So this is, uh, you know, not supposed to look real. But uh, with what we've seen here today, if you told me this was real, I'd be like, sure. Why the hell not? Freaking Squidville with bricks, where every house is like a, I don't know, a parking garage? Because there's that's not a house. But um, yeah, we saw a neighborhood of castles. Empty castles. So this is actually less weird than that. Speaking of SpongeBob, there we go. Empty void and a giant... Burger. This is from the episode Sleepy Time. 
because if there's one thing I remember better than anything, it's seasons one through three of SpongeBob. Been traveling alone through the void. All these pictures being at night makes me think he's just traveling through some sort of night world. Pictures are probably taken on different days, but man, you good? Looking for your next new place to live? Another clown one. Picture of my sister's room from 1999. When you turn out to be kind of a messed up adult and your parents are like, what, it wasn't our fault, you had a perfectly normal childhood. The childhood in question? Bro. <laughs> this is how you, like, make a serial killer. Work-life balance. This is from something, right? Isn't this from something? I don't know. Here's another small room for my VR liminal space game I'm making. Hurry it up, buddy. I don't want to see any more images of it. I want to play it. But jokes aside, this looks fantastic. And if someone could make like an entire area of liminal space stuff for me to walk through in VR, that would be so, that would be wonderful. So keep at it. Let me know when it's done. Which game is this is the title? My guy, that's Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. This is the Chow Garden. How could you not know that? You could shake these trees and they would drop their fruit. You could go in there and race your little guys against other little guys and destroy them. Why have they not added this to any of the new Sonic games? That's like the one thing they're all missing. It's like, look, Sonic Frontiers, oh, it's better than the other ones. It's just, you know, it's a little empty. Just copy and paste this. Put it in your game, you got the game of the year. People just want something to do outside of running around and jumping on enemies. Okay, let's go ahead and, ooh, pool room, very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed another Liminal Space video. I know I always do, honestly. I never know what I'm gonna find in these videos. It feels like it could be cool. It could be just weird. You get a video of, you get a picture from the surface of an asteroid, and then you get a clown restaurant, and then you get someone who lives in a mall. It's like, bro, it's just madness every time. Let me know your ideas if you have any for things I should look at and check out, and I'll see you guys next time. Comment for the algorithm. Or don't. I don't know. Do whatever you want to do. Just walk away right now. Just leave the video playing and just walk away. You can do whatever you want. If you're watching on your phone, you can just throw your phone. Go on. Throw your phone. You won't. You're chicken. If you're watching on your computer, play along. Pick up your monitor and just throw it as far as you can. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.